And it's just so important that you know what's going on out there so that you don't just hear the news and hear the Bank of England base rates gone up, but that you understand what that means for you. Welcome to the Mortgage Mum podcast with me, Sarah Tucker, founder of The Mortgage Mum, where we believe mortgages are about more than just money. Join us every week where we will share with you bite-sized tips, interviews with inspiring people inside and outside of our industry, and tools to help you achieve balance in every area of your life. And hello and welcome to the Mortgage Mum podcast. Thank you so much for coming back to join us. And if you're new here, there's lots of episodes for you to catch up on if you're looking to really educate yourself about mortgages or further your education about the property market and everything that you can do within it. There's so much opportunity. So um, there's a bit of a back catalogue building if you are new here. And if you come back here every week, I just want to say thank you so much for coming back. We have or I get some really lovely messages from people that are listening to the podcast and getting a lot from it. And I can't tell you how much it means to me when I do get reviews or messages. Um, I recently had a review and it just made my day. Um, One, because it wasn't from anyone I knew. I have some lovely supportive friends who, you know, sometimes leave a, a nice review, which is lovely. But this was from someone I don't even know. So if you're out there and you left me a review recently saying that you're fast becoming addicted to my podcasts, Um, thank you because it really was a lovely feeling to see that review land in so if you are a regular listener and you haven't reviewed the podcast recently or ever then just know that if you do take five minutes out and I know what it's like because I listen to podcasts all the time and I still haven't reviewed some of them Um, but they really do mean a lot on the other side so thank you to those of you who do take the time to feedback to me and let me know that this is helpful because it keeps me showing up here it keeps me turning up for you every week to tell you the latest in the mortgage market. And on that note, I have done posts about it, but I wanted to come and talk about the Bank of England base rate because, uh, you know, it's gone up. It's uh, lots of people are saying about it going up again and again. And I, so I just want to alleviate some of the fear, if I can, do what I can to do that, and just talk to you about what it means for you. So it's going to be a little episode, but hopefully a really useful one that you can share with your friends because it's relevant to all of us. Okay, so in February 2022, we saw the Bank of England increase their base rate for the second time in three months to 0.5% as they warned that surging energy bills would push inflation higher than expected to more than 7% by April. And their target is 2%. So they've they've warned us that we as families face the biggest fall in our disposable income for three decades this year. And actually four people out of the nine member committee voted for a more aggressive increase to 0.75% to tackle these rising prices and try and help inflation. Now, what does this mean for you? Um, And at the time of recording, we've had the awful news about Russia and Ukraine um, and our hearts are going out to those who are affected by the attacks. It's absolutely awful to see and hear about. Um, But everything that happens in the world, as I alluded to in my intro, it's It has an increase. It has an effect on our finances. And what I'm here to do is try and educate you as much as possible so that you are as in control as you can be when it comes to your mortgage and your wider finances around that, around property itself. So what does the Bank of England rise mean for you? Well, first of all, if you haven't got a fixed rate mortgage, you might want to consider getting one. We're being told that rates are going to go up and we're seeing it happen daily. Every single day, it feels like we have another lender telling us their rates are going to go up and giving us a couple of days to get as many applications in for our clients as possible. Therefore, if you are one of our clients who are currently getting all your paperwork together, you'll be hearing from us to say, you should hurry because the rates are going up and we need to get your applications in on time to get you those cheaper rates. But in essence, 
The Bank of England base rate going up has seen an increase already in interest rates in mortgages and we expect it to go up again with four members of the nine member committee voting for a more aggressive increase of 0.75% instead of the 0.5% that we saw. So what that says to me is that it's probably going to keep going up. Now, whether that changes because of recent news, I don't know. We're yet to discover that. But initially, we were being tipped off and experts were saying that actually the Bank of England base rate was very likely to keep going up and be 1.25% by the end of the year. Now, remember, nobody really knows. These are all forecasts. And one thing we do know for sure is nothing is predictable. But... If that is what's going to happen, then we can assure people that mortgage rates are almost inevitably going to go up too. And that now is a great time to be looking at your remortgage and fixing your rate. Now, there are a big increase in 10-year fixed rates now. That's right. Lenders are fixing their rates for up to 10 years and the rates are good at that rate as well. So for those of you who are settled and who don't really think that would be an issue in terms of changing, um, you can fix your rate and give yourself security for really long periods of time at the moment. Um, Five-year fixed rates are still very popular and we are seeing a few people ask for those 10-year fixed rates as well. We're also seeing a lot of our clients who have a mortgage deal at the moment remortgaging early. So you might have an early repayment charge now And you might have to pay a penalty to leave your current fee fixed rate now. But what we're seeing is the rates are so good that actually it's worth people doing it. And because people also know the rates are potentially going to go up, they're willing to take that hit now for the greater good. So if you have got a mortgage at the minute, I would encourage you to think about that, to get your mortgage offer out, to have a conversation with us and to really find out, is that a good option for me? Should that be something that I look at and we look at and debate? Because it could be, and we're doing it quite a bit for quite a few people at the moment. Now, we will always tell you if it's not the right advice, but um, it's good for you to look at all your options, 100%. Um, Energy bills, Martin Lewis is talking about it a lot. Um, and he is he has obviously his weekly show, which is super useful. But if you follow him on social media um, and sign up to his newsletter, he's always giving out really current, helpful advice. And energy bills is the talking point. Our energy bills are going to be going up by 50 percent in April and going up again in October. Now, the government are going to be helping us with these costs, um, but the energy prices are going up and disposable income as a result will come down. And it's just so important that you know what's going on out there so that you don't just hear the news and hear the Bank of England base rates gone up, but that you understand what that means for you. So in mortgage terms, it means that mortgage rates are going up. And if you have got a mortgage, it might mean you can really, really think about that. And have you got the right deal at the moment? And is it worth looking at now? Um, If you're getting a mortgage, you might want to really think about how long you want to fix it for and give yourself that security. Life is unpredictable, but if we can help you try and predict the next two, five and 10 years, we can help you really find out what rate is going to be the best one for you. In terms of energy bills, when we do your mortgage, we're looking at what your mortgage costs you, um, but we're also looking at what your life costs you. Can you realistically afford this mortgage and all your bills and the lifestyle you want to lead? So obviously that's also going to come into our conversations because bills are going to go up. Um, so your whole outlook is different. So if you don't track your finance, I would really recommend that you do that so that you can really see the short the, you know, the shortfalls that you might have and where you can potentially cut back if need to. That is in essence, all that I'm going to talk about in this episode. I just wanted to give you my opinion on it so that hopefully it translates it for you. My main ambition is to simplify mortgages, to simplify the the money side of life. So you get back the control 
And so this is just um, keeping you up to date with what's happening as much as possible with these little bite-sized episodes as and when things happen. If there's anything else you want me to cover, please do get in touch. I always respond and um, it's great to get new inspiration for future episodes of what you want to listen to. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for listening to the Mortgage Mum podcast and I hope you learned something new today and felt inspired in some way. Here at the Mortgage Mum we really believe in people supporting people so if you've enjoyed this episode of the Mortgage Mum podcast please share and subscribe and rate and review this podcast and let's keep supporting each other. And of course, if you would like help with your mortgage or your insurance, head over to www.themortgagemum.co.uk or contact any one of the team on social media. We would love to help you. Thank you for listening.